All right, y'all, I'm back with an update on Gabby and her boyfriend, um, Brian. Uh, okay, so he done went missing here in Florida, and they can't find him. I just want to say I think that's kind of bullshit because I can't go nowhere in Florida without everybody all over my ass. I got all kinds of undercover police, everybody, you feel me? It's like, you know, like like I'm finna go blow up the world or some shit, you feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, and that's literally, you can't you can't pick a spot in Florida that I can't go to and be followed by the feds and air, but I'm talking about everybody, man. Well, except Orlando, I ain't gonna lie. So, when I, every time I go to Orlando, I haven't noticed them all, you know, just all around a nigga like that, just everywhere, you feel me? It's like, I had a little peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? I can do what I want, whatever. I don't really feel, you know, followed like that, but... Any other spot, so considering the fact that they near Orlando, I don't know, that might be true. Because Orlando be on some other shit half the time, you feel what I'm saying? They ain't with that bullshit. They ain't just going to be following you around like that if you ain't did shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, at least that's what I've experienced the times I went there. But um, anywhere else in Florida, man, they on my ass, you know what I'm saying? They ain't playing, boy, shit, all right. So I doubt they don't know where that man at. I think they know where he at. They just, you know... Fucking with him real quick, having a little fun, you know what I'm saying? Just like, boy, where you going? You know who he is, you know what I'm saying? You know we got this whole damn state locked now, you feel me? So he probably don't know that yet. But eventually, I think they going to catch him because he, he, he got to get hungry, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get hungry, you're going to get thirsty. So you're going, you know what I'm saying? They say he left with some hiking gear. And they found the car and drove the car back to his um, mom's house. They said, well, his mom's and, well, his parents found the car and drove it back to their house. Nah, another thing, on the police behalf, this would make me think, I think they just having a little fun with the case. Not having a little fun, you know what I mean? Because it is a very serious matter, but they stalling the case a little bit. Because if, let me tell you something, me alone, by myself, you put me in the area with some dogs, and I got dogs and shit, you know what I'm saying? I got all the protection I need or whatever from whatever may be out there in the woods, including some dogs. I promise you, I'm going to tear that bitch up, man. I don't play around. I don't fuck around. You feel me? Like, just me by myself. You know what I'm saying? I have years of experience of just catching lizards and shit. Not Sometimes I walk for miles. I don't play around. You feel me? So I know if I'm just one person and I got dogs, I got walkie-talkies, I got, you know, I got backup and all this shit. Come on, man. It ain't no way in hell that Gabby would get away from me or Brian. You know what I'm saying? I, man, I don't play no games. And, and I'm, I'm not just, you know... Making shit up. I'm for real, for real. You feel me? So I know that with, with, with a law enforcement agency, well, maybe because they busy and sometimes they got to attend to other crimes and shit. You know what I'm saying? They can't just spend uh, so many hours just looking for one person when there's so many other crimes being committed around the neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of understand that uh, because, you know, they lack the manpower or whatever. You feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? If... If, okay, put it like this. If I had somebody that can match my drive, you feel me? It don't got to be that many people. Just three people, one or three people. Because I'm probably going to outlast all three of them people. So you you probably ain't going to find nobody that can go all day and all night like I can in the woods without stopping. I'm talking about I'm at it. You feel me? So me by myself, I know I can cover a large area of of a wooded area by myself and with dogs. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy with dogs, man. We're going to find a whole bunch of shit. Everything and most likely anything in that woods is coming back with me. You know what I'm saying? By myself with dogs, you know what I'm saying? And then you put me with a team that can match my drive. That can, you know, you know, that can go like I can go, you know, and we got dogs, walkie talkies and, you know, something to protect ourselves in case, you know, a, a fucking bear or something run out. Or, you know, we, we might need to, you know, kill it or something, you know. But other than that, and then I was listening to the news. They were saying that they holding out hope that, you know, Gabby's still alive and shit. Listen, that's good. Good thing to do, you know what I'm saying? But, man, listen, man, it's real life. This ain't no cartoon. That girl dead. Now, it did make sense when they said that because she in the woods, he probably took in the woods, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. that's that's true. If you took her in the woods, then okay, she could still be alive. But you got to think about it. Man, there's grizzly bears and shit out there. You know what I'm saying? You Listen, man, this girl done spun at least. Listen, if you spend two nights in the woods by yourself, 
and any woods and, and you know and, and they got bears and shit out there poisonous snakes all kind of shit man listen it's over with it's a miracle for you to be found alive and she ain't got no flashlight man you know how much shit come out at night you know what i'm saying creepy crawler stuff that come out at night bugs mosquitoes uh spiders and all this shit that that comes out at night you know possums raccoons snakes man hell no nah, man you know that that girl i'm sorry to say but that girl you know they that did give me a little hope when they said you know out in the woodness i'm thinking okay yeah she could be trying to you know he probably drove a miles in in a wooded area and made a walk and just left her out there you feel me so that should have taken a long ass time because a girl you know a, a feminine girl like her a fragile girl like her may need to rest a lot and all that but you can't afford to rest a lot when nighttime fall, if you in some fucking woods, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you, you, like I said, you got too many animals that will attack your ass and straight up kill you. They might not eat you, but they'll kill you. And some animals that won't eat you, that'll kill you, other will eat you. You know what I'm saying? Then you got maggots. But I think um they they going to wait on her body to decompose to find her. Because they probably already know she dead. You know what I'm saying? want to make a little money off the case. And, you know, then they're going to find her. By the time they find that girl, her body going to be badly decomposed. You know what I'm saying? For sitting out there so many days and so many nights. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't bury her. You know what I'm saying? If she was left, like, you know, her body should be stinking by now. So the animals should pick up on that smell on something dead. You know, it's a dead carcass. And then they're going to go start eating off her or whatever. If, you know... It depends on when, when they want to find her. But I'm not saying they, they probably know where she at. They probably don't, you know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of times they don't find the body until it's badly decomposed. You know what I'm saying? They do not find the body until it's decomposed. And they be like, oh, the body is so decomposed. We, you know, we it's hard. it was barely hard to identify. And, you know, all this, you know, the shit that they say, you know what I'm saying? But I think it depends on who idea was it to do that cross-country trip. You know, to drive across the country. Because that is a beautiful thing to do with your girl. I swear it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, you know, you get to sight, see so many shit. Man, I used to love riding in the cars, just going to the store, just to sit in the car and ride with my peoples. You know what I'm saying? It just, I don't know. But to go on a cross-country trip, you know what I'm saying? Ride, and then you got a girl, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking whatever. Oh, man, that's a beautiful feeling, dog. That's one of the best feelings in the world. Because it's hard to find a girl that can that, that is willing to do that with you. You know what I'm saying? And when you finally got one, you're going to kill a girl, man. You stupid as fuck. Excuse my language. You stupid, man. But I think that cross-country trip was him mapping out where he want to kill her at. You feel me? Maybe she cheated on him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they had an argument. He found out she cheated on him. And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to take on a cross-country trip and, and see where I can kill her at. So he probably, they said uh, something about New York. So I guess she from New York, but he from Florida. So... I think it started in New York, from New York to uh, Utah, or from Florida to Utah. I think from New York to Utah, and then from Utah to Florida. So he probably was trying to figure out um, where it would be best to kill her at, you know what I'm saying? Like, where, where he could kill her at. But all the while, she thinking, oh, I'm on a road trip with my boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? But, but listen, y'all got to be careful, man. Some of them white, listen, man, some of them white men are really fucking dangerous, man. Dangerous as fuck. When them people snap, they snap. They'll snap. You could piss them off one day and they'll plan to kill you. They'll plan to murder your ass two years from now. They'll still have that grudge. Them people are a, a, a different breed, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? You got a white boyfriend, whatever. You know, y'all doing everything together, you know what I'm saying? You done made that white boy mad, it's over with. You don't even know it. He planning your goddamn death. You finna end up missing, man. You finna die. And the thing about it, as niggas, excuse my language, as niggas, we don't want that kind of pressure because we been through enough shit in our life. We like, man, we don't want them crackers in our face, you know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, you probably done made us mad. You probably were mad as fuck, want to slap the shit out you, maybe even beat you up, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't planning to kill your ass, you feel me? Because, like, man, we got shit to do. You feel me? Cracker gonna come fucking with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? You trying to, you know what I'm saying? But a white boy, nigga, a white boy don't give a fuck about them crackers. For, for real. Excuse my language. They don't give a fuck about the police. They don't. You feel me? You be, them boys are real crazy. 
You piss them boys off. They don't give a fuck about going to jail. Your ass is dead. You feel me? They don't give a fuck about none of that until after the damage is done. Then when they actually in jail, that's when the bitch come out of them. You feel me? They're like, damn, because they in there with all them niggas and shit, them gorillas, them boys. Like, damn, you feel me? Like, if I had known it would have been like this, I would have never killed that ass. You feel me? So, I think they need to do a better job of putting more warnings and commercials. You know what I'm saying? To let people know. You feel me? Like, you know, they show you what happened to you if you smoke too much, if you drank too much, text and driving, but nobody put uh, any commercials out what happens when you murder somebody. You feel me? What you got to go through. You feel me? They need to do a better job of advertising punishments for crimes in America, not just punishments for having fun in America. Drinking, bitch, that's fun. You feel me? Drinking and driving, that's fun, but it's dangerous. You feel me? You know... But, you know, smoking, that's fun for some people. But, you know, it's dangerous, but it's fun. But advertise more what happened, like, you know, if you beat somebody, if you beat up an old person, if you beat your wife, if you if you kill your wife, if you kill your girl, what's going to happen? What you going to have to go to go through? Who you going to be sitting in the cell with when they show them niggas on a commercial and them red jumpsuits? Them white boys going to think twice, man. They're going to be like, man, fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Man, damn, if I kill her, they going to put me in a cell with all these goddamn niggas and shit. You know, that's an uncomfortable feeling. That's just like how we feel out here on the, on, on the outside trying to go somewhere. We got all these goddamn crackers following us everywhere. You feel me? All these feds, everybody just following us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, get from around a nigga. You feel me? Like, that just, it'll make them feel even more uncomfortable than that. You know what I'm saying? They show a commercial showing if you kill your girl, we catch you. You know what I'm saying? You going to jail, you going to prison, and you ain't going to be in prison with your white fellow friends. You're going to be in, you know, we're going to put you in a cell full of full of dudes, black dudes. You know, they're going to show them niggas in there with goals and tattoos and looking crazy, man. Them white boys going to be like, man, this bitch lucky. I'm out of here. <laughs> you feel me? He ain't going to want to kill her because he ain't going to want to sit in a cell with all them black people. He going to be like, man, fuck this shit. He going to think twice. But if you don't, if you don't put them commercials out there, that, them, them people, them people, man, them white people ain't going to see that shit. Only thing they thinking is the girlfriend got to die because she cheated back in 1974. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm just having a little humor. But you get what I'm saying? He, he ain't going to want to kill her because, you know, but white people, man, they don't think about beating your ass like that most of the time. Those, I mean, let me say that. Those kind of white people. You feel me? I had to correct myself. Because those kind of white people, they go straight into planning mode. Now, you with your, with your husband, with your fiance, with your boyfriend, you thinking, oh, my God, we taking a crossroad trip, cross-country trip. Yay. You know, taking pictures of this. You being a girly girl. And he looking at you like, yeah, bitch, I'm finna kill your ass. That's what you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, you finna come up missing. You finna, you know what I'm saying? You finna be in that dirt. You finna be maggot food. You know what I'm saying? That Them pretty little titties, pretty little booty, pretty little coochie, pretty smile gonna be maggot food. Maggot's gonna be eating on that shit because you ain't gonna use it no more. You feel me? They be thinking like that, man. And people be thinking about killing you, man. You know, I made them mad one day and they planning your death two weeks ahead. And two weeks later, they still mad enough to kill you. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga mad at your ass one day, you feel me? He done had time to blow. He like, man, I ain't worried about that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Depend on, you know what I'm saying, who he is. But, you know, if y'all fucking, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna hold a grudge against you like that. Now, if y'all argue again or something, bitch, yeah, I remember two weeks ago. Oh, you remember? You know what I'm saying? He might bring it up or whatever. But as far as, you know, like planning your 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 death, nah. But we do got black people that do do shit like that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that's not... Uh, compared to the population, that ain't shit compared to the, you know, the white population, you feel me, that do that, they don't fuck around, your life is in danger the minute you meet a white man, I mean, those kind of white people, and you might not know it, you feel me, your life is in danger, man, your life is in danger, when you meet those kind of white men, your fucking life's in danger, you know, because you, you, your, your life on the clock, you feel me? You make them mad. You cheat. You do something. They find out about it. Your ass out of here. You better not go nowhere with them. Your ass is out of here. You you, you better go to a black family and, and lay low, <laughs> you know, and do some shit. Cause you, man, you finna wind up missing. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard because when you love somebody, you can't just cut them off. You know, everybody can say, oh, just leave him, leave him. But if we all know, we all grown here. You can't just fucking leave the person you love just like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? So that helped play a lot into the death. But, you know, that's my take on it. You know, I think 
they gonna eventually find him cause he got he gotta eat. He gotta come out the woods. He gonna get hungry. He gonna get thirsty. And they're gonna be right there to find him. They got they at all restaurants. So you know what I'm saying? All restaurants everywhere. So when you show up at a restaurant, they're gonna be right there waiting on you. You feel me? And then you know, you you, you can't you you can't outrun them people. It's just a lot of people. You feel me? So I think they're gonna catch him. And I think they're gonna find her body. Cause if you if you look at that girl, man, look how that girl built. You know what I'm saying? Okay, she might have experience in 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 camping before, but she's a female. Look how she built her body. Not even built to handle that type of weather. You know how cold they get at night in them northern states, them western northern states. Man, it's cold as fuck up there. She ain't got no blankets, no nothing, just a shirt. Man, hell nah, that girl dead, man. You feel me? Sorry to say it like that. You know I don't. You know, but. The girl dead, he killed her because he don't went missing. Y'all should know that. Everybody should know that. You feel me? Why? You know, if, if you love your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? She's still alive. Ain't no way in hell you hiding from anybody. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hiding from nobody. You got to find your little baby, man. That girl gone. That girl dead. And she ain't never coming back no more. And because she chose the wrong kind of white boy to fall in love with, you know what I'm saying? Those people don't have understanding. They don't realize when you kill somebody, dog, they ain't gonna never come back. That don't mean you some kind of gangster nigga. Anybody can be a killer. Little kids are killing nowadays. You feel me? So that don't make you some kind of gangster. You don't get no props for that. Anybody can kill. All us capable of killing somebody. But you got to have understanding, man. When you kill somebody, dog, they ain't never gonna come back, man. Ever. Because something you did. Never. You can never replace that, ever. You know what I'm saying? And they don't understand that. So she just fell in love with the wrong white boy, man. That's all. You know what I'm saying? It cost her her life. You know what I'm saying? But that's my time. Catch y'all in the next video. Y'all stay safe. Peace out.